Welcome back. Lots of home celebrations this Halloween, so treat yourself to some spooktacular sippers. The man we always turn to is Nate Blurry with the original tin cup. Good morning, Nate. Good morning, Leanne. How are you today? Would well, be a lot better if you were in studio here with me, but instead I'll sit and stare from afar. Go ahead and tell us what you have me today. Too. Yeah, I know. And I wish you were here because I have a lot to drink today. This is so much fun. I'm going to start out with a punch that everyone can drink at the party. And this is really fun. This is a fruit that I found. This is called lychee. This is a Asian fruit. And I picked this up at the Dong Hong Market over on Division Avenue. But you pull it from the can and I reserve some of the syrup. You take these blueberries and you stuff it right in there and you've got a spooky little eyeball. So here's what I've done. I've taken and I'm scaling this down a little bit, but what you would normally do is you would do a cup and a half of the syrup from the lychee, as well as a couple of cups of cherry juice. And then I have a cup of orange juice and some great ginger beer. Now you could use um, soda water, you could use anything sparkling water, but I, I added ginger beer just because I really enjoy the flavor of it. And then, like I said, I took those lychee, I put some blueberries in there to make them as eyeballs, and those become my garnish. And so here I go. I've got, oh, look at how spooky this is. I'm so excited. So here we go. This is a punch that everyone can enjoy, and you can top it off with these cute little eyeballs. And um, if you want to make it more adult oriented, you can, of course, add some rum to it. But there's a fun, spooky punch that's really easy. Like I said, you can get the lychee from Dong Hong Market and the rest of these ingredients you can get at like Meyer or Family Fair. And here is a punch for the big kids at the party. This is one of my favorites. I have taken some hibiscus tea along with a cinnamon stick. I took four bakes and I have a cup of this go along with a cup of pomegranate juice this is my pomegranate punch right here and i'm going to do a bottle of prosecco and a cup of rum i'm using the rum from new holland uh, they have their freshwater rum and again you can get that at any of the fine local liquor stores here in west michigan of course i add that bottle and I'm gonna to top it off with a cup of blood orange juice. And again, um, you can get that at like Meyer or Family Fair. And so we've got our rum, we've got our Prosecco, we've got our pomegranate, we've got our blood orange juice as well as that hibiscus tea. And I am just gonna to top this off here. And once I put this in to garnish this, I'm gonna add some fresh pomegranate seeds as well as some of that blood orange. I'm gonna put a nice blood orange slice in here along with one of our original tin cup last straws. And this is our pomegranate punch, perfect for the big kids at the party. And then I'm gonna finish this off with a spooky smoking graveyard. Ooh, so fun. there's our punch. And the last cocktail uh, is a little bit more traditional. I have some bourbon. I'm using St. Liberty Birdie Bear Gulch, along with some of our friends at Ironfish Distillery. They actually make a maple syrup, and the maple syrup's aged in their bourbon barrel. And so what I've done is I've taken three ounces of St. Liberty's bourbon, along with an ounce and a half of the maple syrup. I'm gonna add a couple of slices of orange as well as a couple of dashes of orange bitters. Now to make this taste delicious, I'm gonna muddle this together and then stir some ice into it. So let me muddle this up. I'm also gonna add some rosemary to it as well, just because I really like rosemary. And that's gonna give us our smoking graveyard part. So let me add some ice here, give this a nice little stir and we'll strain it out into our cocktail glass. And the reason I can't do this in the studio is because I'm going to start a fire. Hopefully my smoke detectors don't go off, oh, no. Leanne, but Hi, we're, we're <laughs> what running I'm going to do here. We're running low on time. Gonna, but... Oh, well, I'm going to fire this up and you can get all of these recipes on our website as well as uh, do joining our Drink GR Facebook group. There are three fun cocktails for the Halloween spirit. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much, Nate. Great ideas as always. Go to Original Tin Cup dot com.